Dwayne here, phoenixtypewriter.com, got a wide carriage Royal KHM, that's what this is, so this is a wide, super wide carriage, here it goes, it goes, I don't know, it goes a long ways, let's see, all the way over there, to all the way over here, somewhere is 26. 26 or 27 inches side to side the carriage I believe it's a 20 inch platen area but it's much wider than that with the knobs and the accessories on the side and stuff but this has some special history this was bought brand new by Frank Lloyd Wright in 1940 and it looks like it was special ordered not only with the wide carriage but with the special symbols on the key slugs here so they relocated the cue to the other side of the keyboard that's over here on the right now to put this big slug in here that doesn't I'll, I'll show you when I type on it but it's also got these special symbols here all along here all the way over including a couple more squares and ovals and circles and they had to re Q is now over here, so they had to relocate the Q over there. Put a few more symbols down here. But this is definitely special ordered. I'm not sure if it was for drafting or what, but I got a sheet of symbols printed right here. And these, some of these seem pretty similar, like these circles and squares to what this typewriter is doing, but it's not really matching up. If anybody knows what these type fonts, type symbols are for exactly, feel free to comment in this comment section down here. Because these are very special. And uh, so let's take a look at a few of these here. So this is the bracket over here. So it does that. that big got to go three spaces to get that to, to work and then uh, up here we've got other symbols Let's see, you know what that is you know what that is the triangle gizmo and uh, let's see what we got here square Circle. And there's more over here. So we got another square and another gizmo, and that's probably about it. Well, there's another one right there. So there's a whole bunch of special symbols on this typewriter, and it also types. pretty neat. So I left the lid off just so we can look in here. You can't get access to these typewriters. Um, the lid is fixed on here, but I, I left the screws out so we can take a look. I can move the ribbon off here. Move the ribbon off up here. And I still got this loose so we can take this right off. And we can look in here at these type fonts. So this one is so large over here, they had to make some room. That's why they had to use the edge over here, because it was so big. And then the rest are, are just what we typed until you get over here to the other side. And there's another big one over there on that end, right there. But uh, pretty unique machine. 
this was completely seized up when I got it and it was seized up down here and frozen this whole pivot block down here and none of these keys would work they, they went move completely frozen got that all fixed up got everything here that was stuck unstuck the shaft here was was frozen solid the ribbon drive the margin release was bent and busted off um, more bent keys shift lock was missing got a ring and insert for that um, it was also bound up here in the ribbon mechanism this is supposed to move over into a, a bypass that was frozen let's put the uh, let's put the cover back on it and put the ribbon back in it and uh, we'll do a little more show and tell here so these royals they uh, they use the carriage to drive the ribbon on these. So when you when you move the carriage, that's what turns the ribbon. So it's not it's not the type bar action as much as the carriage action. And since the carriage wasn't working, the ribbon wasn't working. But now the carriage is moving free side to side, which it was not doing. It goes all the way end to end. Pretty neat. Oh, got the bell to work too over there, so the bell was not working either. So this is a, just a big, big machine. Can't even get it on the bench all the way. It's so big. It's got an oversized uh, mainspring in here to handle the, the larger carriage, so that's pretty unique. Even this arm here was frozen which is now working perfect. Return arm. And we got it looking pretty good. This side is also pretty wide. The serial number down here. You can see that serial number. It's got a 20 right in the digit, so came in and it says 20 for the carriage. And there's our serial number. Focus up though. Oh well. Let's pull it back. All right. Just wanted to highlight this guy since it's so unique and special that I thought we should take a look at it closely. I also needed uh, these feet spacers down here were collapsed so the shift action would not work at all it was all bound up in the shift but got everything worked out down below too so this guy is ready to use and be put on display royal typewriter brought back to life to be i think they're going to put it on display in their uh frank or lloyd wright foundation in scottsdale so that's going to be pretty neat all right, this is Phoenix Typewriter. Good day.